Again, good day to everyone. We are here at Engineer Erwin Rommel's place for him to update us on his elevated modular aquaponics design. Let's all welcome Engineer Erwin Rommel. Hi, good afternoon. So, I'll give an update on how uh, aquaponics is uh, doing for, uh, here for the EMAD system. So, you can see here uh, the fish tank. So, we have uh, above uh, 50 pieces of fish there, tilapia. Okay, so your water is very clean. Yes. Uh, <coughs> above the fish tank, you can see here the this is a gravel bed. So right now we are using a flood and drain system. So you can hear uh, see here the tomatoes. Also here's a flower. Okay. So, so uh, I have a question for you. Is a tomato a vegetable or a fruit? Uh, fruit. Well, uh, it depends on how you see it. But uh, botanically speaking, it is a fruit. But uh, for culinary purposes, it's uh, categorized as a vegetable. Uh, so if you plant it, it's a vegetable. But if you eat it, well, it's a fruit? Uh, <laughs> it's the other way around. around. Yes. Uh, okay. From a plant perspective, it's a fruit. But then if you eat it, they call it a vegetable. Uh, I see. So here's also an orchid. Wow. We tried planting it. Okay. Uh, you can see at the back side. So you can, you can see it uh, clear. Here's a broccoli plant. Okay. So it's growing uh, quite nice. Then what do you have here? This is uh, spring onions. Oh, okay. So we planted uh, onions on a gravel bed. I see. Wait, is that a pineapple express? Well, it's a regular pineapple. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> so it's growing on the gravel. Huh? Yes. Okay, and that's another uh, broccoli plant. Uh, very interesting. How do you plant uh, pineapple? You just uh, buy a fruit, take out the crown, then plant it directly. It will grow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see how big it will grow in a gravel bed yes. system. We're quite excited on how the fruit will look. So you can see uh, our tomatoes are now flowering. You can see the flowers here. So I can see you are tying it up on a string. Yes, because uh, tomatoes are uh, get heavy and they are not so stiff. So they get to fall over, so you have to tie them something to something to prevent them from, from falling. Okay, so let's look <coughs> at the floating raft system. So here's the floating raft. So we have a red var uh, variety of lettuce. And the rosa. Yes, that's the rosa, and this is the sanadu. Uh, the sanadu yes, with the sanadu. romaine. Yes, romaine type of lettuce. And these so are tomato seedlings. Yes, tomato seedlings. I see. What's underneath the... So if we can... Uh, take the raft out okay so you can see the roots under it okay relatively small because the it's still a seedling anyway so if you can see it clear we are uh, raising uh, giant freshwater prawns here okay they also call it a uh, macrobrachium rosenbergi or giant river prawn well, uh, it's not very It's very big. hard to say. Yeah? I'll just call it freshwater tempura. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a big one over there. I, th I, I think they're nocturnal creatures, right? Yes. They uh, only wake up at night. So there's a big one over there. Okay. There are many solids, as I, as I can see here. There is solid strap underneath it. Yeah, so how, how do you how do you make sure it doesn't clog the roots of the floating raft? Well, uh, as of now, uh, we're using the flood and drain system as the filter. But uh, to get a higher fish density, we'll be installing uh, in the next few days the filter module. Uh, anyway, uh, any DIY filters you can install. Okay, so, so you have a from you have a setup a over here. Yes, it's uh, not yet finished, so can you explain the setup? So what happens is, from the fish tank, the, the water would overflow to the first uh, filter, Okay. then again overflow to the next, and so on until the fourth stage, which is the sump. Okay, so, so this stage is a... Uh, brush filter? Yes, so we have a two-stage brush. And this one is a brush filter too. Yes, brush filter. And then, then you have uh, drains at the bottom. 
Yes, we install drain so when cleaning, we don't have to remove the entire uh, drum. Okay, and so use. here's an example of a brush. Yes, okay. how the brush will look like when installed to the filter. So it's like a brush. Okay. That's why we call it brush filter. So it will accumulate the larger solids. So that's a very nice <laughs> innovation that we got here. Yeah, you're not using bulkhead fittings? No, we're just using a 2-inch male and female adapter. I see. So it's a little bit cheaper than a bulkhead fittings. Then using bulkhead fittings or unisils. Yes. This one is a, a pack media compartment. Yes. Okay. Then and the last one is the sump. Uh, that's, where you, that's where you will place the pump. Yes, then from the sump, the pump will... Uh, the pump will uh, uh, deliver the water from the filters to the two grow beds. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Engineer Irwin. Now, let's taste the lettuce. Let's see if it's okay. <laughs> so, we recommend you wash it first, but for the sake of the video... It's organic. It, Don't yes, panic. It's organic. Yes, this is organic. So, <laughs> Okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Thank you for watching. It's a bit crunchy <laughs> and overripe. Okay.